Hello students, welcome to my writing segment. Today, I'll be sharing with you tips on how to write a factual essay. In this episode, we'll be working on characteristics of a factual essay, tips on how to write a factual essay, and exam tips for writing a factual essay. Are you ready? Good! Let's begin! Characteristics of a factual essay What is a factual essay? A factual essay, also known as an expository essay, is a style of writing that allows writers to explore a topic or a current issue. The writer is required to present facts and information to the reader in a clear and logical manner. A factual essay stands in a category of its own due to the following characteristics. Number one, facts, facts, facts. A factual essay is all about presenting information. Hence, the writer should not include personal opinions or ideas. The writer's role is merely to inform. This is what separates factual essays from argumentative essays. Number two, Style of writing is formal. As factual essays are all about informing the reader about the topic, the style of writing has to be formal. The writer should not use slang or dialogues in the essay. The essay should also be written in the third person's voice. Writing in the first person would render the essay informal. The writer has to prove to the readers that the information is credible and trustworthy. Number three, concrete examples. A factual essay must be backed by concrete examples. The examples should be recent and relevant. Tips on how to write a factual essay. Read and understand the question. As always, before writing any essay, you should read and understand what the question wants. For example, let's study this essay question. It appeared in the SPM English language paper in 2014. Why are animals important to human beings? You can tell that this is a factual essay because the question proposes a general statement. Remember, you are not required to pick a stand as required in an argumentative essay. All you have to do is present facts about the importance of animals to human beings. Brainstorm for main ideas. Now let's brainstorm for main ideas. Can you think of any reason why animals are important to human beings? What are their contributions to us? How do animals help us in our daily lives? Brainstorm as many ideas as you can in this circle map. Then, choose the best three as your main ideas. Here is an example of my circle map, and these are the main points I have chosen. Brainstorm for supporting details. Now, brainstorm the supporting details for your main ideas. What are the explanations that are suitable for your main ideas? Add them to the circle map. Here is an example of my circle map after I have added the supporting details. Organize the points. Now transfer all the points into this tree map. It is very important that you arrange your points from the most important to the least important. Also, include your supporting details below the points. Read through the circle map and see which information you should include and which ones you should omit. This is an example of my tree map. Notice how I have arranged my main ideas and supporting details. Write the introduction. 
Every introduction should begin with an inductory paragraph. Your inductory paragraph begins with your thesis statement. We usually paraphrase the question as the first sentence in the introduction. Then, in one sentence, briefly mention the main points. Finally, write an outline sentence to explain the structure of your essay. This is an example of my introduction. Notice how I have paraphrased the question? This is a thesis statement. This sentence briefly mentions my main points, which are companionship, service and food. This is my outline sentence. Here I stated what readers should expect from the main body and conclusion. Write the body. The body of the essay consists of three paragraphs, as I have three main points. These paragraphs should have the following elements. A topic sentence, supporting details, examples, and a concluding sentence. Here, let me show you the first paragraph of the main body. Here is my topic sentence. Remember my first main point is about how animals provide humans with companionship. This is the supporting detail. I explained how animals had kept humans company. I also included evidence from research to support my main idea. If you have read any research or articles about the topic, you may include them in the essay. Here is my example. From my experience, I know in general that seeing your pets after a long day is a treat. This is my second supporting detail. Finally, here's my concluding sentence for the paragraph. I stress again the importance of keeping animals as pets. Then, continue writing the second paragraph in the same style. Make sure to include the topic sentence, supporting details, examples and concluding sentence in the correct order. This is my second paragraph of the main body. This is the topic sentence. This is the supporting detail. I explained that there are many industries that need animals to work for them. Here I have provided two different examples to support my main idea. Here is my concluding sentence for the paragraph. I added that animals can work for us due to their strength and intelligence. This sentence again helps to support the main idea. Finally, repeat the process again for the third paragraph. This is an example of my third paragraph of the main body. This is the topic sentence. My third main idea is about how animals provide us with food. This is the supporting detail. I explained that we need animals for meat as it is a rich source of protein. Here is my example. Finally, I end with a concluding sentence for the paragraph. Again, notice how I stress on the importance of animals to human beings. Write the conclusion. The conclusion consists of a concluding paragraph. All you need to do is reaffirm the issue and summarize the main points. Then end with a concluding sentence. Here is an example of my concluding paragraph. Notice how I have reaffirmed the issue. I have stated the importance of animals to human beings. Here, I have briefly summarized the main points in one sentence. I do not mention any new points. Finally, I ended with a concluding sentence. So the essay is now complete. Check and edit. Before you hand in your essay, always read it through again. 
Check whether you have included all the elements in the paragraphs. Make sure your sentences are well organized and are coherent. It is important to ensure that your essay is easy to read and comprehensible for the readers. Also check whether you have made any spelling, punctuation or grammatical mistakes. No first draft is perfect, so be careful. That's all there is to factual writing. If you follow my tips and practice consistently, I'm sure you will have no problems with factual essays. Exam tips for factual essay. This essay typically appears in paper one, section B of the SPM English language paper. Continuous writing carries 50 marks. You will be given five questions. You only have to answer one. You have one hour to choose your question, plan your framework, write your essay and check for any grammatical errors. So how does the examiner mark your essay? Normally, the examiner will mark your essay based on impression. This means there is no fixed formula. However, they will evaluate your essay based on several criteria, which are grammar, vocabulary, sentence structure, spelling, punctuation, tone, and style. Based on these criteria, they will determine suitable marks for your essay. So it is important for you to have adequate knowledge in these areas so that you can score high marks for your exam. I hope you find the information in this video useful for your revision. I wish you good luck and all the best for your examination. Till next time, bye!